This is the first time I've been in handcuffs in the back of a police car. The wrong man arrested. My freedom was taken from me for almost a week. Mistaken for a fugitive with the same name. And it is a story you saw first on six. Now we have exclusive video inside that police car moments after he was arrested. And NBC six investigator Heather Walker has been following the story and has the latest. In the video, you can hear the man explaining time after time that they got the wrong guy. An officer tells him it would be sorted out, but he ended up spending almost a week behind bars. Palm Beach is warrant on you, okay? On me? Yeah. For what? Uh, it's probationary. This dash cam video exclusively obtained by NBC6 investigators shows Leonardo Oliveira in the back of a police car moments after he was arrested. It's impossible for me to be on probation because I've never been arrested. I hear you, man. Um, but someone is saying that you, you did, you were arrested and have violated probation. And you literally, every all your identification and the way you look, identifies you as the person. But it was the wrong person, which he tells the officer. There's no way. There's literally no way. Over. That's not you? I mean, that's a that's my picture, but I've never been arrested. And over again. Has this happened to you before? No, never. Oh, it's never happened to you? No, this is the first time I've been in handcuffs in the back of a police car. As we showed you before, this Leonardo Silva Oliveira was picked up by Coconut Creek Police after leaving work at a steakhouse in Deerfield Beach back in January. But the warrant was for this Leonardo Silva Oliveira, who is on the run. They look similar, have the same name, even the same age, born days apart. But the wanted man had tattoos on both arms, and this Leonardo does not. Today, we're going to sort it out. Then... This happens. It's already been confirmed. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I'll just go. Can you confirmed that it's me? It's confirmed it was I've confirmed it's you. Records obtained from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office reveal multiple layers of missteps by law enforcement agencies. But the source of the confusion, according to this report, was that the warrant had the wrong information in it. I don't know what the deal is. Apparently there's a warrant out for your arrest. You're gonna have to figure it out when you get down to the to the courts because everything matched except for the birthday. In the report, a PBSO's detective says they followed an investigative checklist, used multiple databases, and recommended the Coconut Creek sergeant use a portable fingerprint scanner to confirm Leonardo's identity. But he said the sergeant declined, saying it was unreliable, and made the decision to take Leonardo to jail. All right, buddy. Hope everything works out for you. Oh, my God. It's unclear how the wrong information made it into the warrant, but the report we received said it had been removed from law enforcement databases after our report to protect this Leonardo. Coconut Creek Police declined to answer our questions about this video and the PBSO's findings. As for Leonardo, he told us he is considering legal action against the department. I'm Heather Walker with NBC6 News.